Hi, so uh, in this last lecture of uh, this week, uh, we have been earlier talking about the different water tariff structures. Uh, that is this is a comprehensive summary of the major ones, whereas uh, the flat rate, uniform volumetric rate, which is uh, IBT, uh, which is uniform model, and increasing block rate and decreasing block rate, which is IBT and DBT, respectively. How, uh, what are, what kind of conservation signals they send? Whether it is easy to explain, easy to implement, they address equal equality concerns, or they provide uh, reliable revenues is summarized. Uh, we have already discussed this, so uh, we will move ahead. Now you see the what this is a practice problem, an example how the different water tariff structures can be designed. So uh, this is a design problem where there is a, a town with a population of 1.5 lakhs and uh, of uh, their water consumption pattern is uh, being given. So, the consumption pattern like there are uh, 15 percent of households consume between 0 to 10 with an average consumption of 8 kiloliter per month, uh, 25 percent of house households consume between uh, 10 to 20 with an average consumption of 16 kiloliters per month. Similarly, 40 percent of households consume around 25 kiloliters per month while uh, the rest 20 consumes around 40 kiloliters per month. So, the water utility decides to recover its annual operation and maintenance cost which is uh, let us say coming around 36 crore from the users, uh, tariff model is to be designed. Uh, so, how a tariff model can be designed for a flat rate model, for a uniform rate model and for a uh, increasing block tariff where uh, the three block tariff system is uh, four block tariff system is suggested that uh, the consumption, uh, the base tariff is uh, cons made double for the consumption beyond 10 kiloliter, three times for the consumption beyond 20 kiloliters and five time uh, for the consumptions uh, beyond 30 kiloliter. So, let us uh, see how it can be done. The basic information that we have at hand is the amount which needs to be recovered that is uh, 36 crore is to be recovered in a year. Okay. So, 36 crore in a year makes uh, of let us say rupees uh, 3 crore per month on an average. There are total 1.5 lakhs of connections and the consumption pattern is given. So, uh, let us start with the flat pricing system. So, for a flat price model, it is fairly easy okay, because you know that you need to uh, recover uh, 3 crore rupees in a month and that needs to be recovered from 1.5 lakhs customer or uh, 1.5 lakhs customer the 3 crore rupees. So, you make a division of this and you will get a per month price to be taken from each customer. Okay. So, if you see we can cut down the 3 zeros over here, one more goes away. So, it will boil down to 200 rupees, rupees 200 per month per connection. So, it is fairly simple. Uh, the flat price system that how much amount is needed and how many connections are there, how many households are there. Because a flat price system will not consider the consumption or anything. Okay. The flat price does not by, by its nature it does not consider the amount consumed by the in, uh, individual customers, individual consumers. So, for the flat pricing we do not need this table probably and what all is needed is how much amount is to be recovered and from how many number of customers it is to be recovered. So, you divide that you get a, a fixed price. 
So, each household will be sending, uh, will basically have to pay 200 rupees per month, uh, that is that is going to be their water bill. Now, let us see the another uh, other model which is uh, the uniform. So, uh, for a uniform tariff structure or uniform tariff model, you will have a fixed unit cost of the water. Okay. So, let that unit cost of the water be x. So, if x is the unit cost of water, now if x is the unit cost of water and we know that uh, 300 crore rup rupees is to be uh, collected in a month period. So, that means that uh, the, the whatever is the consumption total kiloliters of consumption or total units of the water which is being consumed. If we divide 300 crore with that consumption we will get this x value okay, which will which is going to be the unit cost of water which will eventually give us the total amount because if let us say y units y units of water is being consumed in a month. So, x into y has to be basically 3 crore. Now, how much units are being consumed in a month that we can get from the table which is provided over here. Okay. So, 15 percent of population. So, total population is uh, 1 lakh 50 thousand. Okay. So, 15 percent of that population which will be of course, 0 0.15 times 1 lakh 50 thousand uses 8 kiloliters water in a month. Okay. So, uh, that way you see the monthly consumption can be estimated if which is going to be the uh, 8 into 0 0.15 into uh, 1 lakh 50 thousand which is the population 1.5 lakhs. Uh, here it is going to be uh, 16, the consumption is 16 into 0 0.25 into the population, this 25 into uh, 0 0.40 because 40 percent of population using this into population and similarly uh, 0 0.2 into the total population. So, when you multiply this, this is going to give you the total number of connection, this is not population in fact, because we can assume that the uh, number of households in each person, uh, number of households and the uh, population are, uh, di population is distributed uh, in each household in a equitable manner. So, that way number of connection will translate to the uh, percentage of population as well. So, if you see that way, uh, this is going to be give us giving us the number of connections okay, which is using 8, number of connection which is using 16, number of connection which is using 25 and number of connection which is using 40. So, uh, whatever is the values of this, if we sum this, let us say this sum is y. So, the y is the total amount of water which is being consumed in a month by the entire town okay. and x is the total cost of water which is uh, 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 sorry not total the unit cost of water. So, x unit cost of water into the amount or the units of water consumed should give you the uh, monthly recovery okay, which is your target is 3 crore. So, this way we can actually estimate uh, because why we will get from this table. Okay. So, uh, this data we can utilize for getting a value of y and then x can be known as uh, 3 crore divided by y whatever the value of y we are getting. So, that way we will get the value of x and our uniform pricing model will say that charge each user at 
uh, rupees x per kiloliter. So, like in flat pricing we get that 200 rupees per month per customer in the uniform price system we will say that charge each user at rupees x per kiloliter. So, uh, that is how we can estimate this and uh, this is the calculation for flat rate and uniform tariff models. So, you see that the uh, percentage of population uh, the total number of connections would be this which again account for uh, 1 lakh 50 thousand and the total consumption would uh, be uh, 3 lakh 40 uh, sorry uh, 34 lakhs 80 thousand kiloliters. So, this is the total consumption the uh, tariff will be amount to be recovered in a month which is uh, 36 crore divided by 12. So, eventually 3 crore divided by the total consumption and it is giving the 8.6 rupees per kiloliter as price whereas, earlier case the price was 200 rupees per kiloliter. So, these were the simple ones. Now, what needs to be done? for a IBT model okay. because increasing block tariff is relatively much more uh, complicated or much more complex. So, that is uh, for an IBT system one needs to assume that uh, different slabs with different rates. Now, the basic information is provided to us that uh, we have these slabs let us uh, let us say let us say this so these are the slabs for our IBT system. Now, uh, if we assume that water tariff for this slab is x to 0 to 10 because uh, that is our basic slab. So, we can say that water uh, tariff for this slab is x which is in fact rupees x per kiloliter that way. So, water tariff for the next slab is given 2 times of that ok. So, it is going to be uh, 2 x then uh, for next one it is 3 times. So, 3 x and the next one it is uh, it is 5 times so it is going to be 5 x. So, for a IBT system we will have to uh, consider that the different rates are to be put for the different slabs. So, as the problem has suggested that the rates for the basic slab is uh, needs to be determined probably and then the tariff for the higher slabs could be 2 times, 3 times and 5 times as suggested in the problem. So, let us consider that uh, rate for the basic tariff uh, phase is x then here obviously, rate is going to be 2 x for this one it would be 3 x and here it is going to be 5 x. So, all these rates are in uh, rupees per kiloliter. So, uh, that is the basic rate which is uh, which is to be fixed in a IBT model. Now, how do we determine x? what we know that the total recovery is to be done in a month is 3 crore rupees and the consumption data is provided to us. Now, you see that the if tariff for this first slab is x ok, those households like uh, this uh, 22,500 connections which are having an average per household consumption as 8 and they are consumption is in fact less than 10. So, they are going to be charged only at the basic slab and charges for them is going to be 8 times x and the total amount that will be generated will be equal to uh, if you multiply it with the number of connections which is 22,500. So, 8 x plus 22,500 is going to be the uh, amount recovered from this slab if our tariff is x. For next slab when our tariff is 2 x what is going to be the amount recovered from the next slab. So, amount recovered from the next slab for these 37500 uh, connections 
is their uses are between 10 to 20 and their uh, average consumption is 16. So, when the average consumption is 16 means the first 10 kiloliter of this 16 consumption. So, the first 10 of this 16 is going to be charged at the basic rate. So, that means that 10 x into uh, this number of connections 37,500 will be there plus the next 6 because the first 10 has charged at a basic uh, slab rate, the next 6 is going to charge at a 2 x rate. So, next which is 6, 6 into 2 x into the number of household. So, this 10 x into 37,500 plus 6 into 2 x into 37,500 is going to be the total amount recovered from this slab. Similarly, for the next one when there it is 25 you see that the 10 x again is going to be charged for these uh, 60,000 household is going to be charged at uh, 10 uh, for the first 10 liter is going to be charged at x rate, then next 10 is going to charge at 2 x. So, 10 into 2 x now uh, plus uh, sorry 10 into 2 x into this uh, 60,000 number of household plus there would be another component coming for the additional 5 units. So, 5 into 3 x now because the, uh, for this slab prices are the 3 x. So, 3 x into number of households. So, all this this total amount will be recovery from this slab and similarly for this slab also we will have 10 x into uh, the 30,000 which is the customer number plus uh, again 10 into 2 x. Uh, and uh, into 30,000 which is the customer num count plus again 10 into 3 x because for this slab also 10 will be deducted. So, 10 into 3 x into 30,000 which is uh, the customer count and the additional beyond 30 their uses are 40. So, they have additional 10 which is to be paid at 5 x into number of consumers. So, this entire total this way is going to be uh, coming from the fourth slab people. So, the total recovery can be obtained by adding these. So, that is what is being done here. So, if it is 8, so 8 x into the number of customer, if you see the number of customers for a particular slab is constant. So, that can be taken uh, out, uh, then you have, uh, then you have 37,500 uh, customers in the uh, next slab. So, their usage is going to be 10 x plus 6 into 2 x. Similarly, 10 x plus 10 into 2 x plus 5 into 3 x, 10 x plus 10 into 2 x plus 10 into 3 x plus 10 into 5 x with the number of customers. So, if this entire exercise is done, the total sum is coming out to uh, is uh, this value. So, 68 lakhs 25,000 x is the total revenue uh, that would be generated if the basic slab price is kept at x in this model. Now, we know that the total revenue generated has to be uh, 36 crore by 12. So, that means 3 crore. So, we divide 3 crore by this number and we get the value of x as rupees 4.4 of course, per kiloliter. So, this rupees 4.4 per kiloliter is going to be our basic uh, price. So, our tariff structure would be uh, for this it is going to be 4.4, then for this it is going to be a double of that means 8.8, .8, then triple of that means 13.2 and then 5 terms of that means 22. So, that is going to be our uh, IBT solution for this particular case and uh, if uh, graphical tariff structure is needed, it can be designed like this that uh, for 
uh, if let us say 10, 20, 30, 40. So, uh, for first 10 we have 4.4, then uh, double of this, so 8.8 .8 here up to 20, then triple of this, so that is 13.2 uh, for uh, 30 and then beyond 30 for 40, it is going to be uh, 22 onwards. So, this is going to be the IBT structure uh, for uh, the given problem and this is how we can uh, we can design uh, we can design a pricing structure for IBT system. Earlier we uh, did see the uniform system and a flat rate system, uh, they were relatively simple, but uh, this is how IBT system can also be designed. Uh, moving ahead, uh, so we have talked about the uh, water tariff structures. Now, in India, if we see the uh, for the section which are metered, generally increasing block tariff is the model which is being followed and which makes sense also because why it makes sense because we are such a country that the uh, a large chunk of the population comes from a lower income group okay so uh, the affordability is a major criteria for water so uh, for the sake of affordability we cannot keep water prices very high and that's why if we keep the first slab or the basic minimum slab at low levels so that the we can uh, supply water in an affordable fashion to the needy people. So, that would serve one purpose whereas, uh, we are on the verge of being water scare country also. So, there is a water stressed country. So, there is a issue related to the water conservation and uh, if we can penalize the higher consuming units or higher consuming households uh, with some additional charges that will probably uh, produce a signal to uh, lower them their water consumption. So, if that way uh, water can, can be saved, it is uh, further going to be the helpful for the society. So, we need affordability plus we need the uh, water conservation or water saving philosophy which typically we can say the demand management aspect which is can be better uh, monitored through a IBT kind of system. So, if we go on to uh, the demand management aspect as well, we need to manage our demands judiciously at the same time we need to ensure that water is available in a affordable uh, prices to the needy people. So, IBT would be a nice structure uh, for Indian cities or for any cities which is uh, having a population variation that way where uh, there are people who can pay higher prices plus however, the major chunk of the society needs water at a lower uh, prices uh, at affordable prices. So, that is why wherever the connections are metered generally IBT is the uh, concept which is being used. Whereas, for the major towns because the connections are not metered generally flat prices are being used. So, as we have discussed this earlier, uh, this is the water tariff structure for residential consumption of the selected cities. Okay. Uh, so, uh, for, for example, it can be seen uh, for Delhi. So, in Delhi there is a, a three band structure whereas, uh, band 3 Delhi is a unique case because of for the political uh, reasons it has been the first 20 kiloliter water consumption has been made free, but there is a glitch that if it will be free only if the consumption is uh, up to 20 kiloliter. If the consumption exceeds 20 kiloliter the uh, price is to be charged at the rate of 4.39 uh, per unit per kiloliter for the first 20 kiloliters and then there is a second band which charges uh, around 22 rupees up to 30 kiloliter from 20 to 30 
and at a rate of 36.61 rupees for the uh, rates above uh, for the consumptions above 30 kiloliter. Mumbai metered connections follow a four band system where uh, 4.66 is the basic slab up to 22.5 kiloliter. Uh, 9.3 is the second one which goes up to 30 kiloliter and then similarly Chennai again uh, the prices are very low for the first 10 kiloliter 2.5 rupees. Uh, then uh, 10 rupees per kiloliter for 10 to 15 and uh, beyond 25 it is 25. Nagpur water prices are also given here, Hyderabad then Bangalore we already uh, seen example uh, in the last session. So, that is how the uh, pricing system is there in some of the uh, Indian towns, Indian ma 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 major cities in fact, major cities. Uh, for a few small towns like Chandigarh, Surat, Pune, Bangalore, Lucknow, uh, again there is a different range and different type of classifications. Okay. Uh, Lucknow there is a, a uniform price for domestic uh, customers which is 2.45 rupees per kiloliter. In selected areas only entire of these uh, cities are not metered okay, in the Lucknow or Jaipur, a any of these cities are not metered entirely. So, uh, Bangalore also some sections uh, pay at rupees around 20 uh, per kiloliter okay, again in the selected area because many places there is IBT as uh, we have seen earlier. Okay. Uh, Jaipur uh, there are uh, water rates are given based on the uh, consumption okay, per kiloliter uh, again uh, IBT kind of model. Uh, then uh, Chandigarh also there is IBT kind of model. So, this uh, type of information is available at different sources and uh, as we were discussing that in India uh, at places where there is a metered connection generally uh, consumption based tariff systems are installed whereas, for uh, all other places either it is free or it is a uh, flat price. Uh, models are being employed for the pricing water. There are uh, few documents available which talks about the pricing in India in a comprehensive way okay, uh, released from the different sources uh, mostly the uh, so one you see that there is a Terry report which was uh, done for the Ministry of Urban Development which reviews the current practices in determining user charges. Uh, this primarily considers 6, 7 cities including uh, Bangalore, Delhi, Chennai uh, most of the metros in fact. So, uh, their pricing is studies in here in the detail. There is another uh, document which is uh, from the uh, NPFP uh, which talks about the uh, again urban water pricing and uh, reform which was done for a uh, United Nations development program report. Uh, there is a recent uh, this 2017 released uh, report by the uh, government central water commission which talks about the pricing water in public systems in India and here the major focus is on to the agricultural sector. In agricultural sector though uh, most of the uh, prices are taken based on the hectare of irrigation land. So, whosoever is irrigating uh, certain amount of land using a canal system, the charges are basically collected based on that way. Or uh, in uh, for let us say government tube wells and uh, those operate on a per hour basis. So, if you are asking a tube well to operate from this to this hour, so you will have to pay that much charges. Uh, for pumping that uh, water into your field, into your agricultural field. So, that those sort of uh, prices or tariffs are followed in agricultural sector. Overall, the concept of water pricing particularly is uh, little complicated because it involves uh, financial aspects, social aspects, equitable aspects uh, and uh, at times environmental aspects as well. And uh, in holistic way, it needs a uh, lot of understanding in order to uh, in order to come up with a sustainable pricing structure. So, with this we will end uh, this week's discussion over here.
Thank you.